I'm smashing chest with one of my bros. It's going freaking great. I'm like, bro, let's do some freaking Smith Machine bench press. And he says, I don't think I can get games from the Smith Machine. I was the professor. He was my rookie trainee. I had a trainer. Paid him a thousand dollars to bring me through a couple workouts. Worth every penny. Throw me on the Smith Machine for shoulder press, bench press. Anything where I had to push for dear life. And you see people, they go to fail like, oh, I can't get another full range of motion rep. They hook it or they put their weights down, something like that. Oh no, my trainer, if I got to that last rep, I'm pushing, I can get it. He would lightly put his hand up till I got it. Tell me to do another. I bring it down slowly, controlled, start pushing up. I'm only getting it an inch or two off my chest. He puts enough force to bring it all the way. I tells me another. I continue to go back down. I am in a world of pain. I can't even get it up. He will put his hand underneath and give me just enough force to slowly get a two-second wrap up. Tells me to squeeze up top. My chest hurts just thinking about it. Down again. I literally couldn't get off my chest, and yet I'm going down again. And so let's say... I started to fail, I couldn't get above here on rep number 10. I'd hit 15 to 20 reps a freaking set. Oh man, freaking hurts. And we wouldn't do that just for one set. It was every set of a 60 minute workout for bicep curls, for barbell rows. He would hold on to the weight from the side or push up just enough. He'd make me use straps or hooks. So I could not let go, especially dumbbell press. Dumbbell press, I'm going to a point where not only is my chest completely failing, I can't close my hands. My fingers and wrists are so sore and destroyed, I don't have enough strength to close my fingers. And yet, I still have two more reps in me. That's true failure training, that stupid little drop sets that you most gym guys do where it's just like, uh, 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 oh, it burns a lot and drops the weight. Oh no, that's just you using lactic acid and natural body reflexes and the tendons to feel a burn. That's not failure. And you know what? I blew up. My diet could have been horrible. I made so many gains. I could get 10 pounds on my bench each time I went in the gym. I got so engorged in size naturally just from doing this type of workout. I only had it in me to train three to four times a week, just like during Yates. I could not. I'd try to go in the gym on my days off. Hurt. Couldn't move. Central nervous system was fried. I was working construction, so eight to 12 hours and steel toe boots hauling around bricks all day on the side, too. I was done. I trained seven days a week now for the last three years. I'm not training as hard as I did back then. I can't do it on my own. Seven days a week of hardcore training has nothing on what I used to have to do. You know, that freaking Smith machine is beautiful for when you want to train like that. If you want to convince one of your gym partners to actually freaking train like a real man every now and then, you can't. You can do it on barbell bench press, but it's so dangerous. You're not going to feel the same burn. You're not going to be able to isolate the given muscle as much. So if you want to blow the fuck up, you got to use the Smith machine or any other machine for that matter. Dorian Yates, six-time Mr. Olympia. You love the Smith machine machines because he can do them, those type of things. But your scrawny bitch ass says you have to use free weight. Come on, give me a break. I took my training partner, and I fucking killed him on the Smith machine that day. Weights he was doing for sets of 12. Oh, no. He was hitting 20, 30 reps. I would make him continue to push it until he stopped, and I had to hook it for him. Oh, but because dumb as Eddie Bro Science Life, a comedy page, or a meme you saw online posted by someone you don't know who he looks like, says you can't make Gains from the Smith Machine. You have anonymous websites and comedy pages saying don't use a Smith Machine. Or you can go online, find Olympia winning bodybuilders using the Smith Machine and becoming freaks.
Don't ever make fun of me for using a Smith machine again. Dr. Anthony Chazar, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name. Ask my Instagram followers if you're not following me at sweet and underscore glutes to give me some video ideas for my YouTube page. And he said memes and muscle. And I want to do it just in one video, but after really thinking about it, this needs to be a series. Also, check out his Instagram, Dr. Chazar, C Z A H O R. Shredded. That looks freaking incredible. And now I will do a series because people who know me know I do the gym memes. That's my shit. And you know what? Sometimes I put out the stereotypes, but they're horrible misinformation. The comedy, guys. You're seriously taking your gym advice from a picture with a small caption that makes people laugh? It's a joke. It's literally a joke. So thank you all so much. Please comment down below what memes you think are just people take way too seriously. Like, subscribe, check out my Insta. Thank you all for putting up with me.